Hi, I'm Ursula Sadiq, Product Manager with Autodesk Plant Solutions. In this video, we'll discuss creating equipment in AutoCAD Plant 3D. The equipment will be created in three main ways. We'll show you examples of all three methods. First, we'll show you how you can create equipment for predefined types such as pumps using the Create Equipment dialog box. Next, we'll show you how you can build your own horizontal or vertical vessel also using the Create Equipment dialog box. And finally, we'll show you how you can build your own equipment using AutoCAD solids or surfaces and convert the graphics into a logical piece of equipment. With this last method, you can also add new primitives to equipment modeled in other ways. For example, if you want to add a boot to a vessel, you can do that with AutoCAD objects. Let's start by clicking the Create Equipment button on the ribbon and select a centrifugal pump from the Create Equipment dialog box. It's optional to tag this piece of equipment, but we'll click on the tag box to display the Assign Tag dialog. In the Assign Tag dialog box, we'll tag this pump P200 and press Assign. Now let's look at the dimensional parameters. You can see that as I press the down arrow through the parameters, the graphics will change. Now let's take a look at some more information about this pump in the Properties tab. Some equipment types, like pumps, have predefined nozzles. These sections are read-only. You can change the size and position, but you cannot add or remove nozzles to these shapes. Here we're looking at the suction information, where the other nozzle for the pump is my discharge nozzle, so I can change and take a look at that information. In the data section, I can enter more information on the piece of equipment. Here I'll set the manufacturer of this piece of equipment to be Blake. Now I'll click the Create button and place the pump in the model. I choose an insertion point and then I orient the pump using the compass. Now we'll zoom in to take a closer look at the pump. When I let the cursor hover over the nozzle, I can see that it's a 4-inch nozzle. Let's say I want to change this to 6 inches. I click the nozzle to select it, and then click on the Edit Nozzle Grip, the pencil that displays. In this dialog, I filter the nozzle list by choosing 6 inches from the size box. Then I select the 6-inch raised face nozzle that I want. Now, when I let the cursor hover over the nozzle, you can see that it is 6 inches. Now let's change another parameter of this pump. I'll click the Modify Equipment button in the ribbon, and then select the pump as prompted. The Modify Equipment dialog is almost exactly like the Create Equipment dialog box. I'll change the length of the mounting base to 7 feet, and change the width to 24 inches. If you look closely when I click Apply, you will see the base enlarge. And that's how you work with predefined types of equipment. We'll now take a look at building equipment from primitives. In particular, we'll take a look at creating a horizontal vessel. I'll zoom out and then select Create Equipment Tool again from the ribbon. This time we will select Horizontal Vessel. This type of equipment is built up from geometric primitives. You can add or remove primitives to build your equipment. We're going to replace the torospheric head with an elliptical one. Again, we remove the head, click Add to add a new one, and add back the elliptical head. I'm going to pause for a moment and call your attention to the Templates button in this dialog. This is a way you can save off pieces of your equipment and bring them back later, so you don't have to recreate them every time from scratch. You can use Save Templates in different drawings or in different projects. OK, we'll click OK and add the new vessel to the model. On the pump, we could not add nozzles. We could only edit them. With this type of equipment, however, we can add nozzles if we want. I'll select the vessel, and then I'll select the Add Nozzle Grip. We want to add a 4-inch, 150-pound, raised-face nozzle 
and set its location on the vessel. In the dialog box, I'll click Change Type and make sure I'm filtering on a flanged end type, 4 inch nominal diameter, and 150 pounds. Then I'll pick the raised face 150 pound nozzle from the list. Next, I need to locate the nozzle on the vessel. So I'll pick the Location button, keep it radial as a location, set my H distance to 2 feet, and give the, the nozzle a length of 1 and a half feet. Then I'll click the Close button. If I take a look at this nozzle, I actually wanted it to point up, so I'm going to click on it again. It's in the back. Hit the Edit Nozzle dialog. Go to the Change Location tab and change my A dimension, which is the rotation, to be pointing up, in this case, 90 degrees. When I close the dialog, you see the nozzle is placed. Next, we're going to use AutoCAD solids to add a saddle. Let's switch to the top view and then zoom in. We're going to put a box in to make it look like our saddle. We'll put in one box and then we'll copy it for a second saddle. So again, just using AutoCAD solids, we create a box. We copy the box for our second saddle. We want to group these shapes with our vessel, so we'll use the Attach Equipment tool in the ribbon. We'll select the parent piece of equipment and then the pieces to add. There you have it, the saddles are grouped with the tank. Now for the third method of creating equipment. Working with AutoCAD shapes, you can build custom equipment by creating a model with any AutoCAD solids or surfaces, including mesh shapes that were added in a recent version of AutoCAD. Watch as I build a custom vessel from AutoCAD shapes. I'm going to start by drawing a cylinder and then using the cylinder's mesh. I'm going to transform some of the sides and then smooth out this transfer transformation so it's not such a blocky looking piece of equipment. I would normally also add nozzle shapes to my pieces of equipment before I transform it to an AutoCAD piece of equipment, AutoCAD Plant 3D piece of equipment. But this time we'll just pretend that they exist. I'm going to smooth out this shape and then I'm going to use the Convert Equipment tool in the ribbon to convert the new shape to a vessel. Custom equipment can have nozzles. I'm going to go ahead and add a nozzle to this piece of equipment. You can place these nozzles in any location on the equipment. You pick the Add Nozzle Grip, select a location on the vessel where your nozzle is, and mark the direction out. In the dialog, you can now tag the nozzle or change its type and location. You see now I have a plus grip on my nozzle so I can continue pipe routing from it just like I can any other AutoCAD Plant 3D nozzle. As you can see, adding equipment to your model is straightforward but flexible. We've shown you how to use predefined types such as pumps, build your own horizontal or vertical vessels, build your own equipment using AutoCAD solids or surfaces, and convert the graphics into a logical piece of equipment. Thanks for watching.